Also, what I didn't get a chance to mention before is the brand new episode of Movie Threesome is up. What I need you guys to do over there, I have the link in the description right here for Movie Threesome. Please go there, and you guys get to – Tiffany and I make bets all the time here every week on this you show. You make bets with a lot of people. You, but you guys go and do hashtag loser should, and you get to dictate everything that we do. It's up to you. Go in there and show them the support, too. They want to see all the Schmoville love. Go to the Movie Threesome link. It's there in the description. We What a start last week. It is the ultimate schmodown. Last week we had a great matchup here, buddy. Christian, not since last week have we felt this kind of anticipation for a match. We have team profiles versus... What are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, he's God. in here. He's appearing already. Andy Signori. It's Andy Signori showing up. They can't even see him. Andy Signori. All right, Kenny, Kenny's taking Kenny out Was here. that really Andy Signori? Is the acid kicking in? Unbelievable. Okay, Mark, so this is... Now, last week you had Team Jedi. Right. And you had Team Newbie. An amazing defeat for Team a Jedi, Team comeback. Newbie. Coming through now, in the clutch. Now, it was a tit for tat as far as who. A lot of tits. Beat, a lot of tats. A lot of people thought that it was going to be even, and it was pretty even. Now, this matchup, not the case. A lot of people are thinking that Profiles, on the strength mainly of Scott Mance, is going to be able to take this crown. Alicia Malone. The, they're, they're saying, there's a lot of people saying Profiles to the title match. That, uh, now, look, if you filled out your brackets at home, you guys are following the action along. Not a lot of people think that Team Machinima has much of a shot. But I was just backstage <laughs> with Ricky and with Elliot. Those guys are so not ready to play. They don't even know it's a trivia competition. No, I know. I, no, I, it's funny. You listen, you listen to Ricky and Elliot, the nicest guys in the world, and they couldn't figure out Kevin James' last name. Mark, his last name is James. His last name is James. James, James, Christian. James. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. Mark, why don't you let everyone know if this is the first time they're watching what the rules of the competition is. Here we go, Christian. You're going to have three rounds. You're going to have a pretty easy going first round. Then the second round is when the team dynamic starts to play in and steals are eligible, kids. So if you're keeping track at home, make sure you know that. And then round three, you have one question. They're going to bet their points. And we have a winner. Or last week, we have overtime where we have to go to a bonus question. Once the competitors are actually in the seats, I'll tell them more specifically what happens in each round. But Christian, I know you love doing it, buddy. You be that Michael Buffer that we all know you have inside of you. I am looking forward to this entrance here. We've known these guys for a very long time. We are going to first. Please, JTE, hit the music. It is time for... Yeah, keep it 100. Team Machinima, Ricky and Elliot. Here they are, Mark, walking in with some beers. They don't look like they are phased at all. It's they're a very team Jedi. Jedi. They're off work. They've been working hard. They, look, look at, look at it. This is a very lack of. Day. I haven't seen laziness like this since last week with Team Jedi. No donuts here. Oh, they're sitting in the wrong seats already. Well, Christian, not they good came start. in with a six pack. They did not offer either one of us no. beers. They plan on drinking oh, wait, all six of those beers. Judges, I they like bribing wow. the judges. Yes, a good start. I like the it's way these start. guys operate. Look at that, Ricky and Elliot starting off with two points. You're gonna no. need a. Bottle opener, Christian. This set looks like Howard Stern set. Okay, it here we go. Like look you guys it. brought us in here to ride the Sibian. I, I am, I am, <laughs> I am. Lo look at this. Popping the beer with a lighter. Elliot off to a great start. Two great points start. already, right off the bat. Two points. Yeah. Team Machinima. All right, here they go. Good entrance for the guys. Liking the entrance. But <laughs> the, the lazy entrance is made up for the fact that we gave you beers. It's true. It's yeah. absolutely true. Ricky, you know, delicious. Welcome to the Ultimate Showdown, gentlemen. Are you ready so for excited. your opponents here? Um, no. No. Okay. Well, your opponents <laughs> are favorites to go very far in this tournament. It is the co-host of the Smells the Movie Show, the cocaine donkey himself. JTE, start the music. Young lady, what is your name? Mrs. Mia Wallace. And uh, how about your fella here? Who's the bigger? Here they come, Mark. All right. Let's see what you can do. Take it away. Hit it. Here, Mark. Look at that. This hair. is a championship entrance. Wow. And Scott Mance looking like a look at Scott Mance. What a great dance. He grew his hair out, Chris. Wow. You cannot. Well, a little bit of cocaine there from Mia Wallace. The cocaine duck. Oh, needle to the heart, Mark. He's back alive. What a start. Great entrance. Very cocky. Oh, very cocky entrance here. Marcel oh, Wallace is going to just destroy you. <laughs> Look at this. Christian, I thought this was a trivia contest. She does heroin. Well, yeah, well, yeah. she might do well with it. It might be her. Look, we don't worry about PEDs here. Woo! 
And you know, Christian, a great oh, intro for Profiles, but right off the bat, Ricky showing some knowledge that was indeed from the film that Pulp Fiction. That, yeah, that, that, that was Elliot. That was I Elliot. said Marcel no, Swallows. I have a oh, question. Well, it's not my job to know your name. Mark, I have a question for you. So who's... Pretend they're not in the room. Um, I have a question. Who's the strong player here for <laughs> Machinima? Who's the strong player for, uh, for yeah. Profiles? You know, when you when you look at Profiles, the, the it's yeah. very yeah. easy because Scott Mance knows movie dates. He knows everything. Alicia, yeah. a, a, a great like little red guy on top of the Dr. Moreau that is Scott Mance. Right. Over here with Ricky and Elliot, I look at Ricky and I say, he knows a little bit of stuff, but Elliot, I think, knows more. I neither think one of them. the beard. I think so. Well, hang, on hang on a second. Are you guys? Hang on a second. You know, we're sitting here, a couple of regular guys. <laughs> well, you're in but a suit. you are going <laughs> down. Look at oh. that. Oh. Holy oh. shit. 1995. Oh, right. Robert De Niro. Oh, all right. I am John Hanson. All right, listen. All right. All right. All right. All right. Scott, here's, here's this the Mance rule. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Now, now you're going to have Mance to, the, 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 the shit talk before is good. We're ready. But now that the tournament is starting, we need to make this thing go. So if you answer out of turn, when it's not your turn, your opponents, I'm not even giving, oh, this is your warning. If you answer out of turn, your How opponents will get a point. On? So where, where's right? yours? Right oh, here. Not oh, a good start for Ricky. Yeah. Not, not a good start a good for Ricky there, Christian. Now, guys, here are the rules. Here are the rules. I'm going to prep you guys on the rules. Please listen, as I only say this once, and if you talk out of turn, I will turn this goddamn car right around. In round one, one, you guys are each going to get individual questions. The point total will count towards your team. There's no stealing in round one, so just feel free to hear the question and answer it. You cannot help your teammate in round one. Christian, are we ready? Almost. Mark, your computer sucks. I can't figure that out. That is can horrible you, can language you, for all you, the kids out can there. Can you make sure that I can? Wait, can we not cuss? Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, okay, okay. What's that? Uh oh, no cussing. Wait, I'm do we have any? I'm not sure what you're trying to do. Trying to, trying to make it work. Oh, you're, you're, you're All right, JT, to... let's start the theme music, my friend. <laughs> All right, the ultimate showdown begins round one. We are going to start with Scott Mance. Let's do this. Paul Scott Mance, what movie came out in June? I'm just kidding. All right. All right. Damn. The first question comes in the realm of comedies. 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 Okay. Comedies. In, in Rush Hour 2, uh, yes. okay. who played the Versace salesman that was going to turn Chan and Tucker's characters into the belle of the ball? Uh... And you can't help, no, right? No, 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 no. Don't look. Nine. Do you know? Don't I look. Know uh, is it uh, Zhang Zi? Incorrect. The answer is Jeremy Piven. Oh, God damn no, it. There's no stealing oh. in this round. <laughs> All right. Really? And really? they knew okay. <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> Ricky. Yes. What is Derek Zoolander's signature modeling look? <laughs> Don't look. Don't look at him. Easy. Really? That's easy. Blue Steel? That is correct. Oh. 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 Blue oh. Steel is correct. Taking the lead. Yeah, right off the bat. First blood. Yeah. Christian, I think I fixed our computer once, right. too. Drama. In drama. Alicia, this question goes to you. Okay. In what film does Richard Dreyfuss play a music teacher with a deaf son? Oh, my gosh. Um, Mr. Holland's Opus. Correct. Yeah! He got it! Yeah! Yeah! The underdogs! Yeah! Oh, right! Red right. Fury! Right. 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 Okay. Right. 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 Elliot, right now. it is now your turn. Okay. <laughs> what secret <laughs> is Brendan Fraser's character keeping in the 1992 film School ties. He's poor. <laughs> you can answer, but you don't get a point. Uh, he's Jewish. Correct. But you don't oh. get a point. My okay. day. All right. Here's my. This is just peacocking. This is <laughs> this is the category of current movie news. I love Cur the Halo music, by the way. Movie yeah. news. Scott Mance. Okay. Who was the front runner to play Peter Parker in the upcoming Spider-Man film before Tom Holland was cast? Before Tom Holland was cast. Movie that news. Would be, wait, this is movie news. Who is going to play Peter Parker? Cody. Don't look. Cody. No, <laughs> no, 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 that's no, not no. my I answer. Know, you got to give a shout out to Cody. Final answer. Nine, done. Uh, eight. Uh, uh, Seven. You, know this? you can't help Six, me. Uh, I know I'm not. Five. Okay, wait. Ricky, very four, four, on the rules. Logan Three. Logan. Incorrect. The he's a he's a what the hell is going on in this place? Still, still You're still still the... supposed to do the news? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to access Hollywood or right. some shit. <laughs> you don't report that kind of news. Ricky talking <laughs> shit. I like what it. Mark. We don't report right. that kind right. of news. Ricky. That was like the hunt for the next pope. All right, Ricky. Ricky, what actor has recently been rumored for two different roles in both Green Lantern and Wonder Woman? Oh, uh, don't look, don't today. look. <laughs> yes, if I don't, get this, Chris Pine. Correct. Wow. <laughs> we literally report on this this morning. Yeah. Okay. We report on rumors 
Paul Stance. All right. <laughs> Famous directors. The question goes to Alicia Malone. Okay. Warren Beatty mm -hmm. starred in and directed all of these films except which one? Okay. Love Affair, Bugsy, Reds, or Heaven Can Wait? That is a multiple choice question. Yeah. Love Affair, Bugsy, Reds, or Heaven Can Wait? That is a multiple choice question. I know, I'm thinking. <laughs> you got you can't say all the answers. Think I'm thinking. Eight. Reds. Incorrect. The answer oh. is bug. Oh, sorry. You needed Bugsy. Bugsy. How Damn dare sorry, you answer for me, You're Christian? Right. You know I, mean, I was gonna. <laughs> Who, what if I just left? And what he, if I just flipped the computer? and was like, fuck it. And he, and he asked me not to do that. <laughs> Don't tell them what happened oh, behind the scenes. Production meeting. This question is for Elliot. Who directed the 1969 counterculture film classic Easy Rider? It is multiple choice, Elliot. Fuck. Was it Jack Nicholson? Oh. Bob Rafelson. <sighs> Peter Fonda yeah, or Dennis like Hopper? Dennis Hopper. Correct. He got it right, Christian. Wow. He got it right. So I needed that multiple Dennis choice. What's up, guys? Yeah, you did yeah. good. I, I, I think he's a multiple choice right now. All, <laughs> All those right, geniuses out there Mance, on the internet. This is in the horror category. Horror. <laughs> this is the horror. <laughs> Who directed the 1976 movie Carrie based on the novel by Stephen King? Who directed Carrie? That would be. And what week did it come out? No. Okay, that's <laughs> no. Seven, six. Carrie. That was Brian De Palma. Correct. Whew. Yay! All right. Wow. Okay. Damn it. We're back. All right. <laughs> We're uh, back. You're still Ricky. A, a less than Ricky. Ricky. <laughs> and yeah. what campy horror classic does Kiefer Sutherland play a villainous vampire? Oh. Jesus. Uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Oh. Incorrect. Oh. Lost oh. Boys. Oh. Lost Boys. Speaking of Lost Boys, Christian, yes. Team Machinima thrown for a loop with Ricky's dumb answer. Yes. Oscar <laughs> movies. I wasn't going to get it right anyway. Alicia. <laughs> Helen Hunt won the 1998 Best Actress Oscar for her performance in Which Talkie? Oh, it, I thought that was going to be a It's a movie with dialogue. Choice, but, um, it is um, as good as it gets. <laughs> nice! Yes! Give a point to Red yes! Fury. My girl! Point to Red Fury. My girl kicking right. ass! Wow. And as sexy as it gets, we go to Ellie. <laughs> I have to say, Alicia Malone making a Alicia strong Malone. appearance. Compared to last, last but closing year. out Crocodile round Bundy one, your name. Elliot, the question is to you. How many Oscars has Paul Thomas Anderson won? For director, right? How many Oscars? Oh, Jesus, because he executive produced. Has Alicia. Paul Thomas Anderson won? Oh God, ah, uh, dude. Ten, nine, two. Ten. We were looking for a goose egg. Ah, we were looking for a zero. Right. That might be a trick answer. That is the end of round one. Woo. Cody, what is the score? Ace. Ace, yeah. what is the score? Tied Whoa. three to three oh, going into three. round three two. You now, you guys awesome. are all aware on how all round two works, right. correct? No. All right, so Ricky, the way it works again is to, so you guys, because it's three to three, it's tied. This so is very exciting, this Christian. Is now, this a tie is here, better than I thought we're going to let, <laughs> we'll let the, you guys can decide as far as, let's see, who got the last one right? Team profile. So you guys can decide whether or not you want to go first or second. With it's picking the category. Picking the now. category. We'll go second. You're gonna go second. Okay, oh. so team of champions. So guys, you're gonna pick out of the hat. If you don't like the first category you get, you can put it back. Mm -hmm. Second category, you have to go. Then you must decide out of the two, you guys, who's gonna go to battle. During this round, once you can ask a team member, but remember, your team can steal if you, they get it wrong. If they get it wrong, but yeah. never. You also, if you answer wrong. as it is, we right off the bat, with wait, no multiple wait, choice, that's two right. points. If you answer with multiple choice, you can ask for multiple choice. That's one point. That's right. Oh, when, when, when can they jump in and steal? Just after whenever? you get after oh, you okay. get when the you answer get wrong. <laughs> yeah, so you have to wait for the other team to get the answer wrong so, uh, when it's their turn. Cody, let's go ahead and give. That's Michelle. not a hat. Let, all, right, all right, so let's see, guys, pick it, pick it out. That's not a hat. See if they like the first category. <laughs> long, long story though. Yeah, the first category. You know, Christian, I mistook Team Machinima's aloofness uh, for uh, they really are cocky they, going they, into that's the second game. Elliot they're is relaxed. The, the category is mob movies. I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, go ahead, let's do it. So, Elliot, will you be going into battle or Ricky? No, you should go. Okay, Elliot's going. The battle okay, now mob movies. Just to point out, JT, start this, the music. this does mean that if you guys advance to the next round, that Ricky is going to be the one that plays in the second round next time. We'll uh. get to that bridge when we come to it. I'll be asking you, Elliot, the first two questions, then my partner Christian will take over. You have one lifeline. Here we go. Which Humphrey Bogart movie features the gangster Johnny oh. Rocco? Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. So that's the question? Yes. No, I was just shooting the shit. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know they made gangster movies before, like, 1969. You can remember, use multiple remember, you choice. You can use multiple choice. If you uh, yeah, I'll take a multiple choice. Okay. okay. Was it A, Beat the Devil, B, Key Largo, C, High Sierra, or D, In a Lonely Place? 
I've never heard of any of those movies, which just ruins me. Can I not help him either on this? Not only, only if he asks you, 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 yeah. you can ask once, but then you can't oh, help no, no, him again. Don't, don't do it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not okay. Can I get those again? Was it Beat Actually, the Devil? I'll just say the third one. I don't care. I'm going to get High Sierra yeah. is incorrect. Oh, okay, you guys, can, you guys can steal. You guys can, can collaborate. Can we collaborate? Yeah. Okay, so it's it was either... Well, you got to do it quick. But they've taken one off of the board. Yeah, that's, it's, the game, that's the game. That's the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, Five, steal. So. Four, three, two, I'm right one. Here. What's your choice? Okay, Lago? Correct. Yes! That's so good. Yes! Thank you. Yes. Right, that's one wow. one point for Machina. Lisa Malloy making point. a very strong yeah. presence one, here today. One point for profiles. Schmoville. Back to you, Elliot. Oh, which oh, act from the 40s? <laughs> Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, which actor? It's just been at the gym. <laughs> Mickey Rooney was born. Which actor portrayed Marlon Brando's Vito Corleone character as a Robert young man? Uh, Correct. Two good. points. Two points. Two points. Whoa. Why don't you just give it to him, Mark? Right. A little rude, not even letting right. me finish I'm the done, question. I'm not that dumb. All right, here we go. <laughs> Who directed Denzel Washington in the 2000... Seven film American Gangster. Ridley Scott. Correct. Two points for yeah. three points for Machina. Oh, Elliot. Class. <laughs> now this last this last one you can collaborate with Ricky because you haven't asked him. Shifting okay. okay. into okay. third okay. gear. What two states do the majority of Donnie Brasco take place in? Uh, I'm gonna say New Jersey and Nebraska. No, that is incorrect. Oh. Now you, you guys you cannot have multiple choice because they they answered as is, but. If you get it right, you'll get two points. What two states did Donnie Brasco take place in? Yep. Yes, there are 50 states in the Union. Thank oh, you. fuck, now yeah. I know. No fucking way. Come on. Uh, two states. Well, one's got to be New York. Yeah, five. Right? Fun New fact. New York and New Jersey. Pluto is no is longer a final planet. answer? Yeah. Incorrect. One York's Nevada, right? No, New York oh, and Florida. Mm. Florida. Okay. Florida. All right, what, what do we got? Florida. A, a score Florida. there. You knew that? Yeah, of course. We got, Florida's game. So Machinima got, Machinima got four points that round. All right. Yeah. Okay, so that's seven. So then seven. Good job, Elliot. Seven to four. Seven to four. Okay. Cody, bring the categories bring the up. the category out yeah, to. Right. Pick a category. 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 This is a popcorn. All right, here we go. What was the category? Wait for it. It is. Coming of age. Coming of age. Do you want to keep it or do you want to throw it away? I think I want to throw it away. Okay. All right, yeah, throw it away. Throw it away. Here we go. Throw Take that, Cody. Really? Machinima with the lead here, Mark. Going. Seven to four. But Machinima Profiles has Scott Fans. <laughs> War films. War films. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? All right, they? so who's going into battle? <laughs> <laughs> who's going into battle? Ooh. Yeah. 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 Mance, Mance hesitant. That oh, was hesitant. an no, Olive Garden commercial moment. That was not hesitation. You look hesitant. That was courtesy because I'm conversing with my friend. All right, all right. Okay, so it is going to Scott Mance then. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Seven to four. Who played Mel Gibson's eldest son in uh -huh. The Patriot? I know this one if you don't. Mel Gibson, Mel Gibson's eldest son? Oh, that's Heath Ledger. Yeah. Correct. Two, two points. points. Of course two she points. Knows. She's from that place where they put all the convicts. Okay. <laughs> that would be New Zealand. <laughs> oh, right. Who directed the war yeah. movies Pass of Glory? And Full Metal Jacket. Stanley fucking Kubrick. Wow. Yeah. That is incorrect. We were looking for Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> All right, look at that. So two points from Machinima. I mean, excuse me, profiles. Okay. Major Major is a character in which 1970 war film? Patton. Is I'd that like your to, final uh, answer? Is final answer? Uh, yeah, wait, you, wait. you screamed out Patton. Sorry. You, you can steal it. Catch 22. Correct. Two points for... <laughs> Two points for Machinima. Okay. Wow, I did not see that coming. I didn't see that coming either. All right, here we it's go. Book. This is the last question here. Which film was not part of director Oliver Stone's Vietnam trilogy? Which part? Which movie was not uh, part of it? I think. I think. No, yeah. Just name any movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what? That's the, uh, oh, Avatar. Hold on. No, sorry. no, no. Say it because I know the three films that no. are. No, 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 no. Because that's that's, that's a loaded question. No, 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 no. The answer is Jurassic Park. Can't three. get two Air points on it. It was, it was a bad. It was a bad question. I know the answer. Yeah. Uh, you know the answer. I know the answer okay. because I know that the well, three movies right. that were then, then part it, what's the answer? of his of his uh, so what's trilogy. The answer? the answer of his movies that were yeah. part of the trilogy were Wait, no, 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 no. This is this is this is not. Whoa. If he gets these three, you this can't is make not, your own game out no, of this. No, this is this is a this is a bad question. Hold on, this. sorry, it's a bad like question. Vietnam, it was a multiple choice question to start. It was a bad question that was too put bad. in there. Hold on, sorry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Boys, take out the trash. Your mom and I are talking. Okay, I know the Meryl Streep. Out to Meryl Streep reserved uh, received her first Oscar nomination for her performance in which film? Deer Hunter. Yeah. Two points. Whatever. Whoa. Right. Bo's right. improvising. Right. Man's yes. improvising. What's the final? What's the score here, Ace? It's Profiles ten, Machinima nine. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. One point. No, no, no. 
Wow, this, this is, this is, this is super close, man. Really close. All right, so here, all right, I thought we'd have zero. Here's right now, how so. this works, guys. So now round three. So Upham will give you guys the category. From that category, bet your points. Then you have to show Upham what you bet. Okay, and then you will answer the question. It works like Jeopardy. So here we go. Pick Wait, out. We get the question. Oh first. no, no, we have, we have the category. What's the category? Uh, the, the category, category is romantic. Comedy. Romantic comedies, write your points down on what you want to bet. Alicia's going to win this one. This is the final round, right? JT, yes, JT, turn, turn their mics off while they collaborate, and Mark and I... Fun Mark. fact about romantic comedies, what Christian, they feature both romance collaborate. and comedy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that is very true. A lot of Julia in, Roberts, a lot of Katherine Heigl. What is your favorite romantic comedy? You know what? I'm not going to ask you that because you might say Platoon. one of the questions. Oh, yeah. Platoon is not a romantic comedy, not. Christian. Okay. Though it, uh, it does have some lighthearted moments. Mark, this is a this is a matchup here. This is this is a lot closer than we thought. And you know, we, we didn't it expect be. it to get this heated. We thought right. Ants might run away with okay, this. Show, I was making a point, but now we're done. Up them, yes, uh, get your points. I've, All right, let's see. Here's your points. All so, right. Uh, question don't tell me. Don't that tell that me. Your, can we try again? No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't tell. Don't look at their points. You have their points. Okay. So is Take this one away. like first to answer? No, 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 no. no. You're gonna. You guys are. Whoever. Don't worry. Wait. Just, so like. Don't say your points. Don't you got. Your, no, just no, no. don't tell me how many points you well, have. Like, so here's okay, what you so do. But if. I don't yes. even know what I'm yes, just give, just give uh, Is this point. the one that I have to answer? You both can collaborate here. Do you have to get everything right? You have to get the question right. And okay. so, That's only one question. So it's like Jeopardy. Oh, so what we're going to we're going to we're, we're going to ask now is we're going to ask the question. You're going to write down your answer. Then I'm going to give you a little bit of a time here to, to answer the question, and then we're going to find out how much points you bet. J uh, Cody, you're going to let us know what. Boy, this is exciting. Are you guys ready for the question? Here we go. Here's the question. Romantic comedy. Write it down. Write it down. Don't let your opponents see what you wrote. Name a film. In which Catherine Zeta Jones plays a love interest of John Cusack. Okay, Name a down. film. Just write it down. In which Catherine Zeta Jones, okay. yeah, 30 no, years no. Michael yeah, Douglas you guys, you guys Jr., collaborate. plays a love oh, interest okay. in one of John Cusack's movies. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Answers on oh, table. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, let's go. Hurry up. You got, you got five. You got, I'll, give five. You, I'll give you five, four, four three. No, no, no. Uh, five, four. <laughs> you got to write something three, down. Write something you got to write something down. Right, let let Elliot do it. Write it down. All right, Elliot. Drop the pen. Yep. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, so it, it is 10 to 9 right now. We're going to go to profiles first. How many points did you bet? Six. Six points, which will give you 16 points if it's correct. What did you pick? High fidelity. Okay, now let's go. Let's go here to Team Machinima. How many points did you bet? We bet it all, Bob. You bet it all <laughs> at nine, which would give you eighteen, would be 18. 18. 18. 18. points. You, you, if you get it right, you could win the game. What's what on the paper? Pick? High fidelity. Oh! Machinima wins the game. It is a big upset here in the showdown. Machinima so taking out the brackets. Oh my oh, God! Nice. The brackets just so exploded. exploded. Tournament, all you needed to do is bet all your we points. We didn't even get a chance to play again. Oh. That's it. You wanted to bet you all your points. Should we bet it all? Oh, oh. oh we're we sending back the shit out of this game. Just gave the numbers. Oh, oh. yeah. Very oh. hard. Oh. And oh. You know, we did well. It, you guys are like Florida in uh, in the uh, election in How? 2002. What What's your gripe? What's your gripe? No, I think that we should have lost. But How? happy. This is not right. Yeah, no. Well, you guys, it looks like guys bet the points. You guys are in there. This is the thing, it this. always comes down to this. It was the same last week. <laughs> they got less right. You broke your heroin needle. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. I don't know what's more surprising, Christian. The fact that Profiles lost, or the fact that uh, Ricky and Elliot have to come back to this studio <laughs> <laughs> in a few short weeks. Yeah. To play yeah, that, I gotta drive two. to the canyon again. Guys, uh, guys how I are you feeling it. about the victory? Uh, I, so you said. 
You said I blew it. There was like a fan <laughs> ballot or whatever. Oh, okay. oh, you, you, you probably knocked out close to over. Five, well, that's what I said directly people. to the camera. I'm like, I know that you hate us, and no. I hate you too. Oh, oh <laughs> you guys, fine. sorry, you guys, kids. You eliminated. I'd say 90 percent of the brackets. You guys have now become the top villains. In yeah, the no, this is no great. I'm so happy about this. Congratulations! What a victory from Team Chip. Uh, now let me ask you Ace guys. Of Butterfield. When you guys, first of all, I have two questions. Yeah. One, can you guys scrape together the amount of change it's going to cost to bring another six pack out here? Oh, yeah, I think so. Sure, yeah. Question two is: At what point in the tournament did you guys realize you have a shot against these behemoths? Oh, right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The second we won. Why second, didn't I well, bet that, at all? Well, look, look, guys. Why didn't I bet gonna, at you're all? You're going to have post interviews with Josh McCuga. That'll be up on the podcast channel. Want to thank those guys. <laughs>